and the barefooted kicker Todd Schlope. He has it teed up now for the Wolverines of Michigan, dressed in their road whites. And Pete now to bring it back. Robert Smith is number two, and number 31 is Ronnie Harmon. Harmon deep in the end zone, downs it right there. It'll come out to the 20. And Chuck Long will put the Hawkeyes to work. And of course, Long, the leading passer in the nation right now. His fullback is converted tailback Owen Gill. Ronnie Harmon's his number one weapon. And he's got a Robert Smith, the burner on the outside. His control receiver, Bill Happel, his daddy played for the Hawkeyes in the 50s. His tight end's a good one. Number 34, Jonathan Hayes. They disguise their sex. You never know what they're going to throw at you. First down is Harmon from the tailback spot. Got perhaps a yard. Now the offensive line, young Herb Wester forced in a few weeks ago because of an injury. Bill Glass works next to him. Mark Sendliger, also a wrestler here for the Hawkeyes, and a very tough guard, Kelly O'Brien, and their veteran tackle, Mike Haight. For important yardage, when they run off tackle, look for them to go behind Haight. Again. And that's going to leave them there with a intercepted three of Bernie Kosar's passes earlier this season. Here's a tough situation. They put it up on third down. Under heavy pressure, gets away from it. Brooks is on the pursuit and they bring it down. What a key game. Kostrabala back to punt for the Hawks. A left footed group. And you can see the difficulty he had with that win. And Michigan fumbles the punt. And there's the turnover to the Hawkeyes inside the 50. The very thing that Bo Schembechler said he didn't want to happen. Turnovers. They could hang in this game if there were no turnovers. Their defense had to play well. This is a big, big error right off the bat on the opening punt. Gilvani Johnson fumbled it. And the Hawkeyes recover, and it's a big break for the Hawkeyes. The attacking zone now, he can open this up a little bit. He sure can. There he is, rolling right up. And right away, he hits. Robert Smith. Robert Smith comes out. Now they go into the I formation. Harmon. Close. Harmon got the first down. Inside the 35. Check with me is the call, and that's what he's barking out now. They fumble the snap. Loose ball, Michigan recovers. It appeared that Chuck Long pulled out of there early before he had the ball. And of course, that turnover is a big break for the Wolverines. They've matched it. Number 66, I believe. Mike Hammerstein got the ball. Let's take another look. Right there, it comes free. It comes right to Mike Hammerstein. We'll see what Russell Reen does as the two teams exchange turnovers here in the early going. Bean comes in motion. Seal up. Second and 11 for Reed. Good time. Knocked away and out of bounds. And now that defensive front. Here's Mike Hooks. He'll jump off and work as a linebacker, too, and take receivers. Paul Hufford strong. Jeff Dross, the 275-pound nose guard. George Little, extremely quick. And another man who will drop off and also pursue Dave Strobel out of St. Paul. Good linebackers on this Hawkeye team. Kevin Spitzik and all Big Ten All-American Larry Station. The Wolverines are now watching for a third and 11. Bo Schembechler said last night he was going to get Reen to throw early to try to loosen up this Hawkeye defense if he can. Under fire, throws the screen, gets it in the hands of Garrett. Garrett, however, will not get the first down for Iowa. Now, Robbins has got some wind coming in behind him. Robert Smith set inside the 20 at the 18. And brought down right there. Excitement of this conference in the process. Now it's first and 10. This is Harmon. I really think. Out especially wants to see where the Mallory's are. It is second and nine now. He'll throw in this situation, and he comes to Ronnie Harmon. But again, they're going to be far short Wisconsin here on CBS. Third and five now. What does Hayden have in mind? Harmon cuts back. His athletic skill takes over. 
out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Well, they've got a lot of stealing. Up the middle they come with Owen Gill. Another first down. So Bill Glass opens the way that time. Puts that block that the coach told you on, on Mallory. First and ten again. Ronnie Harmon. Oh, he dances for... Gill. In a little bit of the sequence as they go to a slot man, and that, of course, is Harmon. Plenty of time. Dumps it to Gill. First down. Down to the Michigan 41-yard line. First and 10 at the 41. Long calls the play at the line of scrimmage. Comes with Harmon. Breaks a tackle. Another one. And gets inside the 35. First the Big Ten. The Hawks left guard. Bill Glass jumped offside. On and six for Long. Draw with Harmon. And you could... Harmon up the middle. He is very close to that first down. Less than a yard. We'll see what they do. And we'll need to pick in the goal line situation. They hammer right away up the middle. And they have the first down. We are tied up too, but it's scoreless here, Pat. And right now, first and ten for the Hawkeyes. The ball on the Michigan 31-yard line. It is Harmon carrying the ball for the 11th time. Down for long. He splits it back, approach set, and here comes Owen Gill, and he'll try to break it back the other way. Fumble, Michigan's ball. And it was whistled down. You cannot pick up a fumble like in the NFL. That was Brad Tucker, who caught it on the bounce. And that would be the second fumble. But wait a minute, they had whistled the play dead. There's no change of possession here. Watch here as Long gives the ball to Gill. And then he sees that there's no hole there and goes clear back against the brain. This is a dangerous kind of runner. Third and six now for Long and a break for the Hawkeye. Middle guard was coming quickly. There's a penalty flag down. Pass is completed to Robert Smith, who's out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Which broke. Whether they were drawn, we'll have to wait and see. He's here. He's very concerned about the rest of the season. Harmon is stopped at the 15. They put Harmon over on the wing. They roll in that direction. And Long will keep it. Inside the 10-yard line to Dan Flag, and yes, they will both stand up, if you're wondering. Long on, on the option. Short of the first down, era. Run action passes, power plays, options off of this look. Harmon inside the five. This is second down and goal for the Hawks. Here's Ronnie here. Touchdown. Harmon's 11th touchdown of the season. And now Tom Nickel will attempt the extra point. And it's no good. But he's been a little bit of a water bug for him. This one will be short. And here comes Morris. Bounce by him at the 10. He's got to go after it and out of bounds. For Schimbeckler here. They're back on the 8-yard line. Rogers. Hit hard by a savage Iowa at the end of the win. And that's the end of the first quarter. So concerned about how his sophomore quarterback will handle this pressure. Rogers in a hole. And a long four for Young Reed. Defense, 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 defense. They blitz. Complete. Tough pass for the first down. He can just listen to that crowd coming at him. A delay with Rodgers. 
and beautifully up in that secondary is Keith Hunter number 14. Michigan using more motion than they showed last week. And they come with the fullback. They fill four down linemen at Russell Reen. Four man rush and everybody else drops back. Oh, got him. They got him right on the sideline. Reen out of Illinois is bringing him on. This time he comes right back with Garrett across the 40. He's throwing the ball in two critical situations and been successful. They bring motion. Tailback Rogers. First down and across midfield. 75 pounds crossed out of there and they came up into that daylight. First and 10 now. Ball on the 48. Most impressive drive so far for the Wolverines. And Garrett down to the 45 yard line and Russell Reen has shown Bo Schenbeckler a lot if he can keep this one going. Here's Rogers. So they've come with a new tailback as Rogers goes over to the sideline. Take by Reen. Oh. Intercepted. He threw the pressure that time. And Devon Mitchell, number 21, came up with the interception and got it down to the 40-yard line. Great defensive play on the part of the Hawkeyes. And puts them in great field position. Let's take another look at it. We'll see right here is Devon Mitchell, number 21, in perfect position. You see, Reem goes back. Here's the crossing end. He tries to hit him, throws the ball. Mitchell right in front, robs it away. And it's just an outstanding job because both the strong safety and the free safety were right on top of Sim Nelson. In that situation, double coverage. Now Chuck Long hands off and Harmon cuts back inside the next week. Long stumbles. Starts to go. Ball is back on the 42. Long wants to go deep over the middle and he's got it. First down for the Hawkeyes. Now Robert Smith comes over in the slot, and they run Owen Gill to the 20-yard line. Ground last week they threw four touchdown passes against Purdue, so they are a versatile, outstanding offensive team. He throws here, uh, got happen again, and they can get a first down in this sequence without scoring if they get just inside the two. Harmon slips down at the 15-yard line. Might become his agent. <laughs> Here's second down and Long is back to throw it for the seventh time. Puts it away. Nobody was open and he steps inside the 15-yard line. I don't know. It's the Boilermakers of Purdue. How could I forget the Boilermakers? Here we go now. Third down and 11. It's Harmon. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. About daylight, the call will come. Now, I don't see the opening that they saw in the film. So, Nickel goes ahead and kicks the ball here in this situation. And he's got it. That's a 29-yard field goal. Michigan. Now a young quarterback going back into the wind after throwing that costly interception. His response coming up. Here's Rogers. Turns the corner and gets out to the 25-yard line. And Eric Caddis for Michigan. Second down and five. Rogers behind Garrett, the blocker. Only squeezed a couple of yards out of that. Before. Exactly. Right. Again. Oh. Garrett. Got it? No. Just stopped short of it, I believe. But <laughs> Robbins. Punch it low. She would have a bouncy kick. kick. Smith will let it come down inside the 25, down right there. Continues here on CBS right now. It is Iowa leading Michigan with a first down, and they come right straight ahead with Owen Gill, a plus seed. Aiden Fry has brought an exciting brand of football here out of the Southwest, and he's got a good quarterback out there, and he's under pressure right now. He's got good moves, good strong quarterback. Throw it again. Here's again. Down again. Michigan will have a couple of minutes to work with.
Good punt. Down at the 40-yard line. Does not have the experience to look for the secondary receivers. And all the shortcomings of playing a youngster. Roger. And the Hawkeyes are ready. Normally a passing down. Over the middle to Garrett. For the setback as he comes up. Third and eight. Incomplete. Looks like they're coming after a block, Brent. Robbins gets it off to Smith. Signals for the fair catch at the 25-yard line. The Michigan defense adjusted, and Ronnie Harmon has not hurt them as badly as he did on that first scoring drive. They'll run the draw. Big hole for Gill, and of course, they're bringing the clock down. Single setback. Harmon, of course, a converted wide receiver. He goes out easily. And they work on that clock. Gill trying to stay in bounds, which he does. Gets it up to the 20. 16 yards to go with 33 seconds on the clock. Right up the middle with Harmon. But he has two sons on this thing. And here is Gill. Coming out to the 35. Michigan drops off on a prevent. Long for his tight end, Hayes, and it's broken up. Heard from your local station. Sports presents college pass on first down. Talking about Michigan. All of them, all of them have been rushing. Let's see if they change the pattern or not. There's a rush, coach. Huh? Down quarterback, coach. See if they put it up. responsible for that. Crowd distracting Reen, and he's asking the official for a discretionary timeout. He could get here. Hayden Fry is now telling the student body down that end to quiet down a little bit. Being there inside of him, and now they put Rogers over here. They flank him to the right. Station fake blitz and back out, and look at that Green. pressure screen. Mike Stoops came flying up to take Garrett down. And they're kicking out of their own end zone. Robbins to punt it again. Robert Smith for the fair catch. Single set. Slot to the left. Opens fire immediately. Dumps it right over the middle of Owen Gill. First down. Long. And they come with Ronnie Harmon He's against this defense. They have. They've done an excellent job. Of course, they're a potential explosive offensive team. Here they are, right on the sideline for another one. That's, so that 12-yard game, the first down is at the 27-yard line. He's already 8 of 9. He's putting it up for the 10th time. He's got, oh, Hayes couldn't hold on. Had to turn. Stand him up to the right. Tight there, Coach. Smith is flanked outside of him. They show blitz this time. And he gets it in the hands of Harmon. He won't go anywhere. Big down for Michigan. They'll run out of it with Harmon trying to get outside of the left. Look at this. Oh. It's a fake opportunity right here for Tommy Nichol. But they don't show it that time. He comes through with a 46-yard attempt right here. And he hits it. Is leading the Wolverines of Michigan 12 to nothing. Tommy Nickel, who just booted that 46 yard field goal, will kick it off for the Hawks. And of course, it has been a long afternoon for Bo Schimbeckler's offense. Struggling without the experienced quarterback, having lost Jim Harbaugh two weeks ago in an upset loss at the hands of Michigan State, he suffered a broken arm, diving for a fumble. Start at the 20 again into the wind. <laughs> All right, Green brings him to the line of scrimmage. Rick Rogers. 
of those bad ankles. Miller had to leave the game there, as you pointed out, Coach. Now they've got a man in motion here for Wayne. And again, they come back with Rogers. Puts Rogers out. Garrett cuts back. Gets five. So it, now Michigan comes up with the eye. So a five-man front, and the blitz picked up. They pick up the blitz, and Roger gets first down. Rogers is hit hard by the complexion of a series. Over the middle, who is tied in. Nelson who breaks a tackle and gets to the 45. It's Garrett. Stop short. Half. Robbins to punt it. Another fair catch signal for by Smith, and he's got it at the 12 yard line. Get back into this ball game. Up with Owen Gill. They're so loud right now. I'm gonna put it up. Goes long on second and ten for Robert Smith, incomplete. In the draw in other situations with that third attempt. Oh, there's a whole oh, good defense. Gary Kostrabala. Oh, and they get on it. Shanker. And Johnson in motion. Rogers. Hole is there, and he got to the 30 in this situation, and they do. It is Jamie Moore. Here he comes. So a bit of a ground war here with third and a yard. The power on. He's gone to Garrett in this situation. This time he goes to the tailback of Rogers, and it is going to be close. Situation on third and short. The series before. Uh, well, I guess it's just a foot. Bean is outside, split to the left. Rogers is behind Garrett. Here's Rodgers. He's got the first down and gets inside the 20-yard line. Now Rodgers has rushed 15 times for 53 yards. Green comes right back with it. Ran into his own man, got jammed up down there. Best Wolverine drive of the day. Take Rodgers. He'll throw off it under pressure. It's going to be incomplete. Split far to the left. Green's pass to Mark Ray. First down at the six-yard line. 12 to nothing. Roger battles his way back, and he's hit by three or four Hawkeyes, led by Mike Stoops, number 41, who pressed up in the secondary quickly. Green slips up at the 10-yard line. It's third and goal, but they are back near the 10. The clock goes off before he gets the play away. For what to do here in the closing minute of the third quarter. Intercepted by the Hawkeyes. Devon Mitchell, second interception, and he could go. sideline here a great play by Devon Mitchell changes the whole momentum and tie and we'll be back in defense 
You know, Harmon has really been shut down since that first quarter. Seven carries for one yard. They fake to him and come back with Gill, and he's met. Give you an idea. Oh, oh, Rouge. Iowa won. <laughs> Third down and nine. Long pulls out. That time. Apple. Now there's the mark of an experience. Double tight end in there now. On first and ten, here's Harmon again. Can he get daylight this time? Nope. Second down and about nine yards to go. Hawkeyes leading 12-0. 1350 to go. And they run Owen Gill right up the middle into the end zone. Boy, he ran right through. Set up now for the extra point. And Iowa now passing into the end zone, and that's the last time that someone has scored six points against these Hawkeyes. And they're 1347 away from wrapping up another one against the Wolverine. Morris fumbles the ball at the 10. Shakes free and gets out to the 17. Dad played for me at Miami of Ohio, and he was a tough guy. Hands off. Oh, beautiful fake. Threw it in oh, the lead. And that was interference. That was go. <laughs> well, they're going to have to fumble from Iowa. They're going to throw it again. Toward Bean. Incomplete. This ball game. Second down. Here's Rogers. Boy, look at that deep. Good luck. Almost intercepted and then almost caught. Run and make it tough for you to throw. Oh, good kick. Another fair catch by Smith. Morris gets three yards. Uh, didn't they, huh? <laughs> Get to go out and eat all this free press box food. <laughs> Third block to throw it again. Incomplete and intercepted. Nate Career. So if Devon Mitchell's going to get a pair, his former high school teammate is going to get one. And again, a bobble on the exchange, and Long will just have to eat it right there. Second and 11, and here's the pitch to Ronnie Harmon, and boy, he's cut off, and there's an example of that defense that you were talking about right there. Third down, they'll come back. Oh, there, 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 there. This time, there go. <laughs> Two weeks. The pros are going to have to take a long look at Chuck Long too. He can turn professional, or he can come back for another year here at Iowa. That's two. Here's Harmon. For the Rose Bowl, he's taken this team to bowl games. He's had winning seasons. They've done a tremendous job. Here's his Chuck Long. Going long. And it's complete down at the 40-yard line. Long, too. Here's Gill. Getting outside, but he was out of bounds at the 30-yard line. We'll be right back to Iowa City. Here's Chuck Long pulling out the throw it deep toward the end zone of Robert Smith. Incomplete. In the Big Ten. And uh, with the exception of the, uh, the Ohio State game, they have played exceptionally well. Gill batters straight ahead on a third down. And an apparent victory in hand. Came in favored by a touchdown. They run the draw. Gill cuts back. 
Breaks a tackle by Mallory. And that, uh, Pittsburgh has been a surprise team this year. They expected to be one of the top ten teams. Going to Happel at the 11 yard line. Very solid football team. Take the harmony and Gill comes back. And he bolted inside the five yard line. Still talks with a little touch in the English accent. Long will throw it. Out of the end zone. Power eye set up. Harmon. Option play here. He is. He got a touchdown. <laughs> they ran it anyway. My concern, of course, would be with the game pretty much in hand, an injury to Long. Uh, they're going to need him the rest of the year. But he's a big, strong guy, and he took it right in there. There, I think that Vice President George Bush would be able to describe better than I what I always done to Michigan here this afternoon. I think we are all getting your message. Back together again as he will no doubt by next season. Here's the kickoff and uh, Jamie Morris has had some difficulty back there today. He has stopped short of the 20 yard line. Thanks go out especially to Lou Scanner the field technical director here. Yeah, thanks to all. Zubrod back to throw it now and it's complete to his tight end. He, the season is not going to bring him great success. He might want to try soon that certainly before it's over. Well, he was injured. He had a great reputation. Myers. He's remarkable. Mark Ray is the receiver. At the Solid football on both sides of the ball. And without those mistakes, it was so costly. Morris running from scrimmage. Senior. Dave Strobel is a senior. Kevin Spitzig is a senior. Mike Stoops is a senior. Keith Hunter is a senior. Another no, Bean was out of bounds. High school is throwing the ball. He might have to change his approach a little bit to Michigan football and go for a big, strong quarterback now. Someone who can throw the ball. Well, he's been run oriented and the fate basically, and of course they've been successful that way. You see here they're throwing the ball. The Bean they can throw the ball. This is a first down for Bo at the 40. George Rock replaced Green. And then that quarterback under enormous pressure gets away from it. Now on the run. Drug to throw it, low and incomplete. A tough guy, played middle guard and also linebacker. Only played offense because we had to. Here he is on the option play. Look at here. Nice run, Eric. Close to Zubrog is at the 17. He's got a first and ten. Let's see if they can pull it off. Got it away. It'll be second down. complete to his tight end Nelson against the Badgers of Wisconsin up in Madison 43 seconds now third and two Joe going down at the 19 fourth down for the Wolverines 30 seconds to go and the Hawkeyes trying to get a shutout incomplete intended for Vince Bean Hawkeyes have handed Michigan and Bo Schembechler its first shutout since 1977. And now 
the Hawkeyes will be in at least a tie for first place in the Big Ten. The Wolverines fall out. For Aero Parsegan, I'm Brent Musburger. We hope you've enjoyed the action here this afternoon from Iowa City. Let's send you back to New York now.